Hey, screenwriters. One of the hardest parts of screenwriting is coming up with ideas for your stories. It could be time consuming, it could be mentally draining, it could be creatively draining. So I'm always looking out for new and better ways to come up with ideas. And I'm always looking out for easier ways to come up with ideas. So what if I were to tell you that I found a book filled with ideas that you can use for any of your scripts, for any of your movies? Would you be interested? So what's this book and why do I love it so much? Let's get into it. So before the pandemic, I went to a local used bookstore and I was just looking for books and I came across a book that at first I didn't think much of. And to be honest with you, it's been in a box tucked away for the last couple of months because we've been moving and I still haven't unpacked everything. A couple of weeks ago, I took it out and read it and I am so pissed off at myself that I didn't start reading it earlier because it is an amazing book. It's a book filled with ideas that you could use for movies. They're royalty free, you don't have to pay anything. It's just filled with amazing ideas. The book is called The Writer's Idea Thesaurus by Fred White. And this is an incredible book. It is filled with ideas for different movies, for different genres, for different scenarios for your main character. And it's just page after page of hundreds of ideas that you can use for your movie. The wonderful thing about it is that you don't have to pay anything other than the cost of the book. These ideas are free for you to use for any writing that you want. So let me read from it and let me give you an idea of what's in this book and why I love it so much. Now the ideas in this book are broken up by categories. There's essentially different scenarios that your main character will be caught in and the ideas that surround those scenarios. So let me give you an example of some of the scenarios that are in this book. Chapter one, adventures in an alternate reality or universe, adventures of rebels, rogues, and crazies. Chapter two, business world conflicts, the clash between gangs and gangsters, religious or spiritual conflicts. Chapter three, confessions, confessions of artists, authors, or musicians, confessions of lovers or spouses. Chapter four, conquering a bad or dangerous habit, conquering intimidation, Conquering a phobia. So let me read from you some of the examples in this book to, for you to get a better understanding of some of the ideas in it. Category seven, conquest of reason over superstition. A journalist's superstitious mother is afraid to venture out of the house unless her horoscope sanctions it. Despite frustrating attempts, the journalist creates a clever ruse using a horoscope writer at a local newspaper to force her out of the house with unfortunate results. Category eight, adventures of shape changers. A werewolf's transformation back into human goes wrong. He's only partially changed, leaving him half man and half wolf and exhibiting both behavioral and physical manifestations of both. Fallen angels sneak back into heaven by disguising themselves as benevolent angels. And once back inside the pearly gates, they incite all kinds of mischief until one of the genuine angels works out a plan to drive them out. Category five, investigation of missing persons, animals, or property. Pets have been vanishing. At first, police make the case a low priority, but then a celebrity's prized trained dog vanishes. As soon as the case is given higher priority, the celebrity trainer vanishes as well. Category nine, confessions of religious persons. After attracting a large following, a faith healer confesses to her congregation that she's a fraud, but they refuse to believe her, insisting that she truly has healed at least three of her followers. Category three, mysterious illnesses. During a Mediterranean cruise, passengers begin falling ill, first with headaches, then with fever and disorientation. The ship's physician suspects contaminated food, but he can't find any evidence of it. And then some of the passengers start behaving very strangely. Under a category called the search for a missing person, a disgruntled CIA agent steals classified information and blackmails the organization. But just as the issue is resolved and he agrees to return the materials, he vanishes. It's up to the protagonist, a current CIA agent, to find him. It, it appears that an unknown third party has abducted him. No matter what movie you want to write, no matter the genre, no matter the subject matter, 
I guarantee you there's an idea in this book for it. This is an amazing book and I have used it extensively over the last few weeks. In fact, I'm currently developing three separate television projects based on ideas that inspired from this book. The Writer's Idea Thesaurus, it is a phenomenal book. I'm gonna have links below this video to where you can purchase it from Amazon. Honest to God, I wish I had started reading it earlier. I never thought I'd enjoy it this much. This is an incredible book. If, you're, if you have writer's block, if you don't know where your next big idea can come from, maybe it can come from this book. The Writer's Idea Thesaurus, I highly suggest you pick up your copy today. Honest to God, it's probably one of the best writing books I have ever read because it's just filled with ideas to get your screenwriting going. And at the end of the day, a great idea is what screenwriting is all about. So, The Writer's Idea Thesaurus by Fred White. Pick up a copy today, I promise you, you're gonna love it. So that's it. That's my video for this week. Thanks for checking it out. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, drop in the box below. Happy writing.